Hey guys, it's Len here again, your tech guide. Today we are going to be installing the Spigen screen protector on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This will be my first time installing this, so let's um, do it together and see how easy or difficult this thing can be. So let's unbox it right now and see what we have inside here. So it looks like you do have two pack inside. So there's one here and then there's another one here. Okay. And you got your instruction manual, your instruction manual here. All right. You have your lens and screen cleaning wipe. You got two your um, microfiber to wipe the screen display microfiber cloth and then of course you do have the dust removal sticker right there so you got another two of those and you do have this mini squeegee to make sure that you get rid of the bubbles all right let's go at it See how this thing goes so it looks like we just have to make sure the screen protector is nice and clean so if you're not sure how to do this there's a video I think there was a link of video that you could watch right there watch our installation video but I'm too lazy to watch it and uh, I'm just gonna wing it and hope for the best that we will manage to install this. Okay, so that one is done. Just grab your microfiber cloth and wipe it down. Make sure we got all the debris, the lint removed so that we could go to the next step. Okay, I think that looks good. So if you do notice any lint, use your sticker to remove it. Remove the backing first. Like so. Okay, I notice a lint on my watch here. Let's remove that. All right, so here we go. So we just pretty much align it on the watch here. There you go. And then press the middle. Then remove this, which is holding the screen protector in place or on the casing guide, the guide casing. Okay, just remove, um, press again to make sure it's in there and remove it. Okay, so now we wanna get rid of the bubbles. So use your squeegee. You can see, just push it to the edge. Push it to the edge. Till it comes out same as pretty much all the sides wherever you see the bubble just push them all out okay looking good I don't see no more bubbles. So I guess it's time to lift the remaining tabs. So there's one left here. Just pull it out. 
and voila so just press it down a bit make sure that it's evenly press against the screen protect the, against the screen display and there you go so <laughs> quite simple to install guys nothing to it i still have one extra left i could give it to my buddy or my family and that's what it looks like so the outside of the rim is pretty much still over the top of the screen protector as you can see from there it's not leveled so you can still get away of not damaging your screen display if you accidentally drop this on the floor because of the bezel itself it's uh, slightly elevated instead of being flush on the screen display as you can see from there so that's what I'm talking about. It's flush. Okay, let's power this on and see the sensitivity of navigating this watch through the menu settings. So the good thing about this screen protector it doesn't look obvious when you have this on the display because like again it doesn't raise up in the the level of the display it just basically completely flush to the outer bezel which kind of blends in naturally to the watch Whereas the other one, if you saw my other watches, Galaxy watches, you do have that elevation. Let me grab a sample here. Like for example, this one here, my watch four. As you can see, it's been taking a lot of beating. Um, you can really see and notice that um, there is a screen protector installed there because there's that race on top and it's so obvious if you look upward on on the top view you could really see that there is a screen protector whereas this it's in there flush to the bezel look which looks naturally part looks naturally like part of the watch All right, so let's check out the navigation, see how this thing goes. Let's turn on the screen display brightness here so you guys could see. All right, as you can see, it is quite responsive. I don't notice any um, lag or any delay to it. So very responsive, guys. When it comes to navigating the bezel, it doesn't affect navigating it it still works but yeah so that's pretty much it guys um, I will do a follow-up on this screen display see how it um, handles the wear and tear and um, definitely I am not worried about this product because you know I've tested this product with my other um, watches and it's been holding up quite well so that's pretty much it guys i hope this video helped you guys out and if you are interested in this product the link will be down below so once again thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys in the next one